How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's still week two of 2023. This is our second video this week. There's even more news and stuff to talk about that's been happening in the Forza world. So if you missed the first video this week, go check that out as there's even more news in there. But in this video, we're gonna talk about a new Oreo collaboration with Forza. Finally, the Xbox showcase has been confirmed and a couple of other bits as well. So if you do enjoy these news videos, guys, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single one. Let's jump into it. So very quickly, what's been happening over on the Twitter world of Forza, since there's usually some cool things a lot of people miss. Well, on the Forza Horizon Twitter, they have been posting some Doritos outfit codes. So if you want to have a chance of getting one of them codes, basically, make sure you're active over on Twitter so you don't miss any of the codes that they give away. I don't think even I have this outfit, so yeah, you might win, you might not, but it's worth mentioning. Now for the main announcement, and it is a collaboration between Oreo and Xbox. As we can see here, taste sweet victory with special edition Xbox Oreo cookies and delicious prizes. Goes into a bit of detail here explaining how in 22 countries in Europe only, so this is Europe only, Oreo will be releasing special edition packs with multiple new cookie designs. It goes on to say that if you buy these packs and scan the Xbox special edition codes and crack exclusive combinations, you can win some prizes. It says here that entering the baked in symbols in the correct sequence can unlock exciting Oreo in-game themed content for Horizon 5, Sea of Thieves and Halo Infinite. Additionally, anybody who enters the draw can win prizes that are custom Oreo hardware, Xbox consoles, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate memberships and a holiday experience for the full family. This is very similar to the um, not Krispy Kreme, was it Krispy Kreme? The donut collaboration they did a few months ago, it's very similar to that, but in this case it's Oreos. So I've got a bit of information on how this is going to work. The Oreo themed Forza Horizon 5 kind of prize is a Pigani Zonda with an Oreo themed livery on it. The stats is the same, there's no special abilities this car has, it's not extra powerful, it just has an, an Oreo themed livery, cookies and cream livery they actually say. So if you're interested in getting this I'm going to explain a bit of how this game and Oreo thing works now. We can see they've got a bit of an FAQ, how can I unlock the Pagani Zonda? It basically says it's available to anybody who purchases the special edition Oreo pack. It is in 22 countries which I believe I have a list of now. Um, if you're in any of these countries, you can do this on the Microsoft Store and or Steam. However, these in particular countries are only available on Steam. I believe I've got that right. And as we can see here, we can see the date in which all of this is going to begin. So for the UK, this doesn't start for the 16th, and I would say most of my audience is from the UK, so this doesn't begin until the 16th of January, is when you should hopefully start seeing these pop around your local shops. So how exactly do you solve these codes and get an Oreo edition code? Well, it says exactly here how it works. You buy an Xbox branded special edition Oreo pack. You then visit the promotional website listed on the packaging, which is this website right here. At the moment, it just says, you know, not available, come back soon. You gotta register with your email, follow the on-screen instructions and enter the on-pack code, so the code that's on the pack of Oreos. And then you have to solve the special cookie combination by entering the baked in symbols in the correct sequence. You then choose what item you want, so presume you can then choose Horizon 5, Sea of Thieves or Halo Infinite. You then enter the prize draw to see if you're a winner and your in-game item code will be emailed to the account you registered with. Now I think everybody who enters gets the code for the car and stuff like that. However, not everybody gets an Xbox and stuff like that. So I think that's what the draw is. Now it also notes that even though this all begins on the 16th of January, the Pagani's on the car is only available to use after the 31st of January at the end of this month. This is, I think, the day that Series 17 releases. I'm going to have a few more screenshots on screen of some other questions and answers that might answer your questions that you may have. But it sounds like Xbox Edition Oreo packs coming, you can get prizes with them. You've got to crack a few things, it won't be that hard, don't worry about it. You'll be able to Google the answers 
um, and the Oreo edition Pagani Zonda is coming. Now what else do we have? Well, the Xbox showcase has finally been announced and confirmed to be the 25th of January. You saw in my video earlier this week, we spoke about how it was rumoured to be on the 25th of January, 25th of January. Nothing was confirmed. However, if we look now, we can see check out Developer Direct on January the 25th. That is what the event is called. It's going to feature news and gameplay from some highly anticipated games. Now we have information about what's going to be shown within this stream. Xbox and Bethesda are presenting Developer Direct on Wednesday, January the 25th. It's going to have The Elder Scrolls Online, Forza Motorsport, Minecraft Legends and Redfall. It looks like there is no Horizon 5 Expansion 2. We are going to get quite a bit of information on Forza Motorsport as we can see. They go into a little bit of detail of what we can expect to see, what we can expect to see updated. We're going to get a lot of Forza Motorsport stuff within that stream. However, nothing to do with Horizon 5 Expansion 2. Thanks to AR12 Gaming, I've stolen your tweet. Hope you don't mind. These are the times that the Xbox Direct stream starts. So if you're in the UK, eight o'clock is when you want to be watching but yeah nothing for expansion 2 i highly doubt they're going to show anything since it's nothing to do with playground games it's all just turn 10 within this stream so this leaves me really wondering where on earth is expansion 2 i know with still plenty of time to go in early 2023 that's what we were told march is a possibility but usually these things these expansions get announced months before or at least weeks before they are you know coming out so we heard about the xbox showcase sometime in early 2023 we presume the expansion will be shown within that since it's a good place to announce it but it's not going to be so maybe it's going to be announced somewhere else but for the time being we are now back to having no idea when or where the second expansion will be announced not a clue if we take a look at the calendar though we can see that january 2023 the 20 the 25th of january is a wednesday the 26th of january is a thursday now if playground games follow the same routine that they've been following the 26th of january is a definite candidate for the next Forza monthly stream. It's a possibility that it's on that Thursday to then later release and roll over next Thursday on the 2nd of February. So if the new season rolls over on the 2nd of February, we're going to hear about it on the 20, 26th of January. Maybe we'll get a bit of a hint at where Expansion 2 is in that stream. It's a day after the Xbox showcase. Makes sense, I guess. So I guess we'll just have to wait at this point for January the 25th and January the 26th. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this, and I'll see you all later.